Welcome back to another episode of Steve Talks About Night Vision Stuff. On today's episode, we're going to talk a bit about the new Panel Bridge Mark II Mod 1. Uh, there's already tons of videos about the Panel Bridge and what it does, etc. But we're not going to talk about that. If you're interested in what the Panel Bridge does and the benefits of that, there's tons of videos on YouTube. We're going to focus in on what's new about the Mark II Mod 1, uh, why it's important and what you might be potentially be interested in something like this at this point in time. So the Panel Bridge Mark II Mod 1 now comes with a bunch of stuff. Uh, for those of you who've kind of bought into the Panel Bridge already, you'll be familiar with the actual bridge itself. It usually comes with two arms and the mini rail adapter. So for the Mod 1, it actually now comes with additional two arms. Uh, it comes with these two longer arms with steel washers. Um, and now what you all can also buy is the additional QD dovetail adapter. This is actually the crucial piece that kind of uh, revitalizes this line and makes it a bit more of a convincing buy and kind of replaces a lot of uh, other you know products that are currently out there right now. Why is this important? It's because uh, a lot of people now are purchasing the P Falcon 640 or otherwise for you guys in the States known as the RH25. Uh, and using these as a hybrid uh, thermal night vision device. And what I mean by that is you can now, or I guess people have been taking MH25s, um, Nox 18s, uh, Flare Breaches, etc., and kind of basically putting it side by side with a night vision device um, via, you know, the panel bridge or other products like the Knights KVC bridge or the Wilcox bridge, etc. Um, the Knights Bridge and the Wilcox Bridge are quite heavy. Uh, the Panel Bridge is actually very, very light um, and retains all the functionality of those bridges, but giving you all the still the modularity to kind of go between all these different options. So with the QD dovetail shoe now, what you get is obviously all of the benefits of the Panel Bridge with the ability to kind of put two PBS-14s or two Tantos or two, monoc two night vision monoculars and pan them out and get that full additional FOV. But you can now quickly um, you know, with, with the Allen key, swap out the arm for this QD dovetail adapter. So the QD dovetail adapter essentially works with the iRay USA Pigtail shoe. Um, and the, this is just an optional accessory. I forget how much you can get these for right now, but if you're in internationally or in Canada, I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can purchase these. Um, but this attach, essentially attaches to the bottom of your um, RH25 or P Falcon and gives you this quick detach capability. And this actually works directly with this, and you've seen me do it before. Snaps in, and now you're able to have perfect alignment between your night vision device and your thermal. And it's actually designed and optimized for this device where the, um, op the optimal focusing distance is set. Um, what's also nice about this is actually also has IPD adjustments. So how you do that is you just take an Allen key, Loosen up this screw right here. And now you have the ability to slide this left and right. Now, they, I have to point out that this comes in left and right side shoes. So if you're, depending on what you want, and, and for this specific setup, um, I actually prefer to run the thermal on the right-hand side because for this device, you'll notice that there's a big battery compartment on this side. Um, so usually what I, what I find that will help the most is getting the right side shoe. So there's a left and right side specific. This is the left one, obviously. Uh, if you get the right side, you get more degrees of freedom. You get more uh, travel to be able to move this left and right. You'll notice that I don't get a whole lot of movement here because uh, the battery compartment and the PVS-14 is basically butted up against each other. This does work for me, uh, but depending on your IPD or interpupillary distance, it might not work for you. Uh, generally, we recommend going with the right side just so you can you have that full range of travel with um, with this IPD adjustment. Uh, and then basically tighten back down. You just use this key and tighten that down and it's locked in place. So you still get the full, you know, the ability to swing these devices up and down. Um, again, you can tighten these uh, so you can lock the panning axis. Obviously for, for thermal, you're probably not going to want to pan around too much. Uh, you can tighten these so that it prevents you from having additional play in the panning horizontal axis. Um, and also what's nice about the system is that you can kind of go from this setup to removing this, using the Allen key, dropping this arm, attaching the other longer arm. And the reason why there's a longer arm is because the overall height from the dovetail shoe here and this optical center line of these devices is going to be longer just because of, of, of this. Um, when you are 
uh, so after, after you swap these, you can now run two PVS-14s and then your uh, pigtail equipped RH-25 or P-Falcon can now be swung over. And you can now use the um, American Defense uh, MQD mount to put this as a clip-on on your thermal, on your, you know, on your weapons platform. Again, this doesn't necessarily have to have to be used as a clip-on. Um, you can use it as a dedicated scope and how basically how it will attach. You'll notice that this pigtail shoe has a set of picatinny here. The reason why it's called pigtail is because it's, a it's half of it's a dovetail and half of it's picatinny. Uh, and then they, essentially how this works is you just attach it like so. And then using the lever, it's now tight. And basically here you have a clip-on. So basically you'd be looking through your day scope um, and be able to zoom into this thermal image and you are essentially able to get just very rapidly add thermal capabilities uh, to this entire setup. And then it's just same as what I just did in terms of taking it off, you just release the QD lever and then flip it over, take your panel bridge Mark II Mod 1 and snap it in and boom, you have your hybrid thermal setup again. So basically with the panel bridge now and two monoculars or even one monocular and the P Falcon, you now have, have a lot of bases covered. You can use the panel bridge to pan to get that additional situational awareness. You can add a thermal, you can put this thermal on your gun, you can have regular binocular night vision. Um, huge, huge fan of this particular setup right now. Um, I think it's extremely underrated. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that kind of gave you a quick overview of this, you know, update to the panel bridge platform and kind of opened your eyes a little bit to the capabilities and possibilities of what you can do with this setup. Um, any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you get notified when we post new videos and we'll see you on the next one.